What's up guys, Shane Starnes here, and if you found this video, you're probably getting ready to build your very first website. Now there are several options for hosting out there. Today we're gonna focus on three. I'm gonna share with you guys the difference between shared hosting, VPS hosting, and dedicated hosting. And then later in the video, I'm gonna show you guys some of the most popular options for hosting from this video sponsor, Hostinger, and I'm even gonna show you how to quickly build your own website with just a few clicks, so stay tuned for that. Let's go ahead and get started. No matter what the website, you're gonna have to host the website on a server somewhere. You can think of a server as a very powerful computer that houses all the data that your website needs and then is able to upload that data to each user as they request your website. Each option that we discuss today will be using the hardware of the server to provide your website to those who are searching for it. It just is going to do that in different ways. Traditionally, if you're just starting a website, or maybe you're just hosting a WordPress blog or something like that, you're not expecting a ton of traffic to begin with. You would usually start with a shared hosting plan. Now a shared hosting plan just means that you have one server and usually that one server hosts hundreds and sometimes thousands of websites on that single piece of equipment. So the main benefit here is that you're gonna get your server space at a reduced price. You're also gonna get fewer resources. For most people, this is gonna be perfect because at the start, you're not gonna get a ton of traffic and you can always upgrade later. Several years ago, I had a website that I had articles on that I linked to from my YouTube channel and I was able to get about, you know, a thousand to 2000 views per day and I never had any issues with my shared plan. That website also had thousands and thousands of pages and I still had plenty of space left over. Traditionally, traffic would be your major concern here as most hosting platforms give you a limited amount of bandwidth. That was an issue that I ran into. I actually posted a Pokemon Go tutorial when the game first launched and I wasn't expecting hundreds of thousands of views to my webpage in one day. It actually shut down my website and with that particular platform, I went to upgrade to a VPS and it took several weeks for that to happen. Hostinger's premium shared plan actually includes unlimited bandwidth. So if you did have an unexpected surge like maybe Black Friday or maybe a Pokemon Go tutorial, it shouldn't crash your website. They do say that this plan is good for about 20,000 monthly visits and that you should use your traffic responsibly, but that unlimited traffic is there in case of an unexpected spike. Traditionally, another major drawback for shared hosting plans is that your website is hosted on the same server as other websites, meaning if they get hacked or if there's some kind of a DDoS attack or something like that, that could have a negative impact. You might even experience some sort of downtime while the attack is happening on some other website to no fault of your own. You can kind of view this as like an apartment complex with a shared swimming pool. The swimming pool is fun, but if everybody's in there at once, it can get a little crowded. That's the same thing with a shared hosting plan. If one other website is having a ton of traffic, it could actually slow down your website for that day. That's another thing that Hostinger solves with their premium shared plan. They actually host websites in their own module. So while it's on the same hardware, where it's not affected by the actions of other websites. If another website is hacked, then that doesn't really affect your website. Shared hosting is the best option if you're just starting a website or you don't expect a ton of traffic in the beginning. You also don't have to have a whole lot of technical know-how as building your website with the tools included is super easy. If you do decide on a shared hosting account, be sure to use my coupon code SHANE at hostinger.com for up to 91% off of your plan. VPS or virtual private servers are for those that need dedicated resources all for their website. They don't want to be affected by the traffic from other websites or anything like that. That's what you get with a VPS. So you're still sharing the hardware of the server, but you have resources, storage, bandwidth that is dedicated to your server. So no matter what's going on with the other websites, it's not going to affect you in any way. You can kind of view this as like you're living in a condo and you have your own pool. It doesn't matter if anyone else wants to swim, that pool belongs to you and only you can access it. With a VPS, you usually get much more resources, so you get more bandwidth and you get more storage. This is great for those that have an audience already and you know that as soon as you launch your website, you're gonna get tons of traffic. The main drawback here is that it does cost a bit more for a VPS solution. And also you have to have more technical know-how. You have root access to everything and you are going to be the one building the website. You also have unlimited options for customization. You can build exactly what you wanna build on your VPS. 
Again, if you are choosing a VPS solution, do be sure to use my coupon code Shane at Hostinger.com for up to 91% off of your plan. The last option that we'll look at is a dedicated server. A dedicated server is kind of like a VPS, except that server belongs to you. So there will be no other websites hosted on that server. The hardware is yours and yours alone. There are a few drawbacks with a dedicated server. So for sure, you're gonna have the most powerful option in a dedicated server since you're not sharing with anyone, but it's not as easily scalable as a VPS. So with a VPS solution, you can upgrade or downgrade, and that is pretty easy. A dedicated server is also insanely expensive unless you really know what you're doing and you have to have that extra power. I would probably stay away from a dedicated server. Now that we know the differences of all the hosting options, I'm gonna show you guys how to build your very own website with just a few clicks and just a few minutes of your time. All right, so first up, we're gonna go over to hostinger.com slash Shane, and this is gonna give you up to 91% off of the plan that you choose. All right, so for this example, we're gonna be taking a look at the premium shared hosting option. As you guys can see, it is $2.99 per month, All right, and some of the benefits of the premium shared hosting. First of all, it is super cheap. I mean, seriously, $2.99 a month, that's crazy. You can host up to 100 websites, 100 gigabytes of SSD storage. It says that it's good for 25,000 visits monthly, but also you'll notice down here that you have unlimited bandwidth. So even if you have a little spike in traffic, should be able to handle that, no issue. You do get free SSL, free email, a free domain name, which is pretty important. Those are usually $10. Google Ads Credit, Managed WordPress, WordPress Acceleration. So this is pretty cool. To make your website fast globally, we use Lightspeed Cache for WordPress. This all-in-one site acceleration plugin features an exclusive server-level cache and a collection of optimization features. So basically, if you are hosting a WordPress here, this is gonna help to make it super fast. That's super important. If you want people to go to your website and stay there, everything needs to load fast and it will here. You also get a 30-day money-back guarantee unlimited databases, get access and SSH access. There are more features down here. Um, one other major benefit here is you get 24 seven, 365 days of the year support and 99.9% .9 uptime guarantee. So you don't have to worry about your website crashing. They're gonna make sure that it stays up. All right, so we'll go ahead and select this option. All right, so we've chosen our package. We're gonna go down here where it says have a coupon and we're just gonna enter in Shane for up to a 91% discount. So next up, we're gonna go ahead and claim our domain. I'm gonna go with techshane.com or shanetech.com. Let's see, tech availability, techshane.com is available. I'm gonna go ahead and claim it. Now we'll continue to create our website. Let's go ahead and set up our account here. And it has us to answer a few questions here so they can assist us better. So I'm creating a website for myself. It will be a blog website. And I am a professional website creator. No, I am a beginner, but I have some experience. It's pretty good. Okay, we're gonna do a WordPress. We're gonna choose an awesome theme. I kind of like this. Let's go with this mountain theme here. We'll go ahead and select that. We're gonna go with this domain that we've already chosen. Finish setup. And just like that, in under three minutes, our website is ready. All right, so here you can go to your control panel to manage the website and begin to build your website exactly how you want it. This is pretty cool. There's even a learn with us button. So you can actually watch tutorials on how to get all this stuff set up. So they just make it as easy as possible. As you guys can see, the premium shared plan is a great option for anyone looking to get started at building their own website. No matter what type of hosting you go with, I do hope that your new venture is successful. I know it's going to be exciting starting this new website. That about wraps it up for this video. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.